Hey y'all, this is Carol Norby. You're at my Stamp and Carol page. And by golly, I am doing two videos this week. Yeah, but if you hear any noise, my husband and a friend are working out in the yard and sometimes their tools get noisy. I am playing today with some fun new products uh, and one that I've had for a while that has never seen the light of day. Yeah, so anyway, I will flip this phone over and we'll get started. Hang tight, it does still wobble. Not as bad as it used to. Okay. Ah, I see Angie's already here and waiting on me. <laughs> okay, I am playing with some new products. We have this really cool new embossing folder. Plaid, pretty plaid, EF-0041. And this is uh, in our new Easter Blessings collection. It is just so cute. Uh, another one from the Easter Blessing collection I'm playing with is Faithfulness. It is, ah, come back here, getting my tablet hooked up at the same time, SS-0651. And you can also purchase the coordinating dies. If you purchase the stamp first and then add the dies, you're supposed to get a 20% discount, um, usually. That's something you'll have to watch for. I've had to watch for it. Sometimes it comes through. Sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, it's usually user error. Okay. This is the cute little die set that I have never used before. Isn't that sad? It is so cute. And that's what I made with it. Isn't that adorable? I'll give you some more here shortly. I've also used um, Cloud Dreams DI-0032 and brand new Sweet Home Accents die set. If you watched my video Wednesday, you'll see I have used this on that project on that video. This is DI-0523. That is just so cool. But now we'll get started. So I basically started with, I don't know where my tablet is. It is not connecting. Isn't that wonky? Piece of folded whipped cream cardstock. I did um, the plaid embossed on a piece of cool or pool play cardstock, which is CS-0092. See, I need a little bit more light there. I did the the grass from the Sweet Home Accents with our lemon grass. See, I had to put it together there. It wasn't long enough to do this direction. So, um, I don't know why. My tablet's just not wanting to connect. Maybe there it goes. So anyway, I did that. My, I'll grab my paper real quick so I remember what I used. Yeah, I'll set it up here. So, okay, my son. There's the Pool Play CS-0092, Lemon Grass CS-0019. Now the sun, the sun I use two different colors. The back piece I use Summer Day CS-0033 and the front I use Lemon Drop CS-0018. Okay, now the Cloud Dreams I did that, and I actually took our lovely blue. This is very, very faint, IP-0075, and I just kind of swooshed it over. So you can just see a little bit. Of, it shows up fairly good. The Easter Bunny from the, from the Faithfulness stamp set. I used two colors of ink. I did a kind of a rock and roll type technique. I stamped them with the hazelnut blend. And you can see that is IP-0012. And then I came back and tapped on the side with the dark rose, which is IP-0050. So there's that. And then I stamped the Happy Easter on a piece of whipped cream with our Black Fusion, Black Licorice 0041. So those are my elements. Huh? I bent that. So... I'm going to use my ATG gun. I have, I love my big one. 
you know this is this is huge I've had it for years I'm going to adhere this to my card so we'll just get it on here and with all these elements I want a good stick so I'll get him going I'm a little later today I ended up having to do bills today and some other things. I still got more billing to do. Got most of my tax information entered on spreadsheets. Um, I had a good year last year. Um, I was surprised that it was as good as it was. Just never know. Now I'm going to um, adhere the sun, the moon, <laughs> the cloud. <laughs> I can't get my mouth to work. That's so funny. So I'm going to put him right up him, her, it, right up there, and then the sun. And I'm not going. I'm not going to pop this up because of what I'm going to do next or shortly. So we'll just sit here. The sun. I'm going to have it just slightly overlaying the top of the cloud. Now I'm wanting to hold off on the bunny and the words. I'm going to splatter this with. Our beautiful sparkle silk. I probably covered up the number. I must have, yeah. Who knows? Anyway, it's it's been one of our most it's our most popular popular silk. And there I got it good and mixed up. And so I'm just going to do some splattering. Ah, uh, yeah. That's enough. And then let that dry. Blow on a little bit. It'll dry fairly fast. Okay, I'm going to take that paper out of the way. I'm going to put my bunny right in there. So I'll adhere him. Down. I got him well covered. Put him a little bit behind the grass. Maybe right about there, right about there. And then I'm going to pop the Happy Easter. So I'm going to get out my my foam squares and these medium ones. Okay, where are they? AD-0085. I just love these things. And I'm just going to put a dot behind there. I'm going to pop this up on the sun. Now, isn't that a simple card, but so elegant? Now, I'm, I'm not sure what I have for flowers. I have some cutie patooties. These, I'm not too sure I like those. And I have some white. I have to go through my drawer. You know, why is it when you think of something like this, it's always an afterthought and you're not prepared. How funny is that? We had some, we've got decor blooms. I could have swore I had some white flowers. Bet I do. They're just, okay, I'll just dig a little bit here real quick. I really need to reorganize this drawer. This drawer is just a disaster. I've got so much in it. And they're just not going to be found. So anyway, I have the cutie. Of, I think they're just too big to place on there. And the cutie patoo, well, let me look. Just one more second. Hang tight. Okay. Oh, I'm thinking of some others. How funny. Okay, I do have these cute little buttons. They're too big. Aren't they adorable? You can see those. Those are cool. So there's there's other ideas. I'll keep looking, but that is basically my card. So I'm really thinking of maybe doing this one for a class. I have to prep for a class, so... Uh, my Easter class, which I think is going to end up being the first Friday of April due to 
a good possibility of our son, his girlfriend, and their little boy, our grandson, who's three and a half, will be coming down the end of March. So I'm going to flip you back. So hang on. Here we go. Come on. There we go. So anyway, I will take a photo of this, and it'll be on my blog Monday, my website, stampincarol.com. Uh, with all the products that I'm using and then so you will have direct links to them uh, to my uh, store so anyway that's what I did today it's I'm gonna have to go start thinking about making lunch here pretty soon I am a little later because of the guys so anyway y'all have a wonderful day it is going to be in the 80s here we're gonna be eating outside on the patio table yeah, oh, it's just gorgeous. You just don't want to be inside. So anyway, thanks for popping by, and we'll see you next week. Y'all have a great, great day. Bye-bye.